you're going to be very lucky, I think, for things to work out real well. And they haven't worked out real well. Uh, and a sizable fraction of the world's fishable fish stocks have been overfished. The way that uh, we're managing this, we as a species, not in, only in the United States, but all over the world, uh, the way that we're managing th this fishery, yeah, we're going to be in trouble, and it could expire by the year 2048. Uh, um, it wouldn't surprise me, but, you know, fish farming, you know, is an answer, and fish farming is sustainable. culture was 40 some odd years ago like apple pie and no one I mean commercial fishermen feared it but there wasn't a strong objection to uh, aquaculture and over the years that has developed to be tremendous against aquaculture I mean for very what I would consider stupid information Another possible problem is the introduction of diseases that would uh, infect wild stock in the nearby area. Any time that you grow animals in unusually high concentrations, the animals are typically stressed. Then if one of the two, 20, 30, 50, those animals get loose, what happens if they are able to interbreed with wild stock. Do they begin to erode the condition of wild stock? So these are the kinds of things that are commonly cited. Uh, other misconceptions were that, that all aquaculture is bad. No, that's not true. Some aquaculture is bad, and that is true because people get greedy. People are basically greedy. And if I can grow this faster, I can make more money. If I can grow this right at the edge of some environmental regulations, I can make some more money. If I can turn this around, my shareholders will make more money. Aquaculture done properly is perfectly fine. Aquaculture, interestingly enough, gets this academic uh, overview. People from academia are always interested in aquaculture. But it's farming, and it is the end product hits the same marketplace that commercial fishing stocks hit. It's nothing specialized in that sense. A fish is a fish. <laughs>